But men, if you if you want a average life, somehow we made average evil. Average is good. If you want an average life, you can be happy. You don't need a million dollars to be happy. You don't need all this stuff to be happy. But a lot of you guys are only hustling because you think those things will make you happy. And I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not mad if you desire them, but I want to make that clear. Hustling does not equal happiness. Those are two different things. Yo, what's good, everybody? This is Hafiz, and welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are all having a great day. Before we get started, shout out everybody rocking with us on Patreon. I've been getting so many messages from men who've been putting in the work physically, emotionally, spiritually, and financially, and who have been really adopting the leveling up mentality. And I want to shout out all you guys out there. I'm super proud of you. But one of the things I've been knowing, especially the dudes who've been really wanting to level up and wanting to be better, is that they have been misunderstanding the level up message. And sometimes to, for some of these people, they take the level up message and they make it a form of unhealthy hustle culture. And so what I want to do in today's video is explain the dangers of unhealthy hustle culture and how that's different from those who are wanting to level up because sometimes it seems like it's the same thing but if you do not understand these differences there's three major differences that i'm going to be talking about in today's video if you do not understand these differences you will burn out you will be extremely bitter you will be extremely unhealthy and you will not achieve what you want in your life so it's important all three of these things, you make sure you take notes and write them down because you guys need to understand how these three things can really negatively affect your life. And the first lie is that hustling equals happiness. One of the things that we strive for is helping men get the outcomes that they want. If you guys have taken the identity course on Patreon, which a lot of you guys have done, I ask you men to reverse engineer your life and to tell me at the age of 55, what do you want your life to look like? What kind of wife do you want to have? What kind of children do you want to have? What kind of businesses do you want to have? How do you want to be known in society? I ask men, what do you want? Once men tell me, exactly what kind of life that they want to live i tell them what is required to achieve that life you see it starts with a destination and the destination is what do you want for your own personal happiness don't worry about what the rock is doing don't worry about what drake or michael b jordan or henry cavill is doing what do you want for your own personal happiness in life and then once i know that i will tell you what needs to be done so if you are a guy who has told me that what i want to be happy is i need a million dollar salary a home on the beach in los angeles and i need a vacation home in aspen and i want a supermodel wife if that's what you told me say hafiz i will not be happy I want this kind of life. I want this kind of wife. If that's what you want, I will tell you, yo, you got to put in the work. You got to put in the work to create a seven-figure business to attract the kind of caliber of woman to be able to have these kind of properties and not be belly over. You have to put in an extreme amount of work if you believe that's what you need to be happy. So an individual like that might be working 80 hours a week. An individual like that may not have a social life uh, for a very long time because he's so busy working. An individual like that may not be the most flexible to be able to go on vacations and to hang out with their friends because that's what they want in life, because that's what makes them happy. So if that's what makes you happy, you have to put in the work to get there. You want to live a 1% life, you want a 1% woman, you want a 1% house, then you have to do 1% work. Right. You want to be this high value as well as high character, but high value, man, you got to do the things that require that require to be high value. But as I said, when I initially talked with Kevin, I've said it multiple times. High value does not equal happiness. 
A million dollars a year does not equal happiness. A supermodel wife does not equal happiness. Beach houses in Malibu does not equal happiness. So if somebody else told me, they said, Hafiz, you know what? I would be happy making 45000 a year, being a teacher, having, uh, I don't care if she's the most gorgeous girl, but an attractive woman who's a good woman, some kids, and just, you know, maybe a vacation to Disney World every two or three years, that makes me happy. Then guess what? He may have to work 45 hours a week. He may be able to travel with his friends when he's younger. He might be more social because he has more time because now his hustle is dependent upon his happiness. So the first thing that you got to understand about that idea is that just because you're hustling does not mean that you'll be happy because a lot of you guys want that 1% life and you're hustling like crazy and you're doing all this work. But when you get there, you're not going to be happy because you didn't need all those things. You didn't need all the things that you're currently working for, that yacht, all these, you know, the chains. You don't need these things. If you want to build this crazy 16 chapel, you want to do something amazing like that, yeah, you're going to have to work really hard. But if that's, the, if that's the purpose that God has placed on your heart. But man, if you, if you want a average life, somehow we made average evil, average is good. If you want an average life, you can be happy. You don't need a million dollars to be happy. You don't need all this stuff to be happy. But a lot of you guys are only hustling because you think those things will make you happy. And I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not mad if you desire them, but I want to make that clear. Hustling does not equal happiness. Those are two different things. Sometimes what you need to be happy might require you to hustle more, but it doesn't equate happiness. So remember, guys, ask yourself, what do I need? What do I personally need? And once you understand what you personally need, then you have to put in that work. But you don't need that much money. You don't need that much beauty. You don't need that many homes. You don't need that many cars. You don't need to be this high value man to be happy. The second lie of hustle culture is that ambition equals billions. You guys have heard me say this many times for men who don't have a purpose. The purpose of every man is to become the best version of himself by improving himself physically, emotionally, spiritually, and financially. Each man should be leveling up until the day he dies. So what has happened is a lot of people have taken that idea and they've misunderstood that idea. Meaning that as a guy, I have to want to be this billionaire, have to want to be this millionaire, have to want to be this, you know, super ripped, super jacked person. I have to want to be Mahatma's guy. I have to want to be this, you know, mountaintop individual. That's not what that message is saying. The message about leveling up and constantly leveling up is just a message about men progressing. Men getting better. It has nothing to do with being a billionaire. It has nothing to do with being a, a celebrity. It has everything to do with you not being complacent and you improving every single day. But like I said, once you understand what makes you happy, maybe the improvements are different, right? So if you're a guy and let's say your purpose and what makes you happy is you want to be a, a preschool teacher. You don't want to be a principal. You want to be a superintendent. You want to be the, you know, on the board of education. You simply just want to be a preschool teacher. Your leveling up is just being a better teacher every day. It doesn't have to do with money. It literally does not have to do with, okay, this year I'm going to make more and more and more. Maybe for you leveling up is, hey, I want to be a better teacher. I want to be kinder. I want to be sweeter to my students. That is your ambition. That is your improvement. Going back to fi financially, maybe leveling up financially isn't, I'm going to go from 50,000 one year to 60 to 70 to 80 to 90 to 100. Maybe that's cool, but for you, it can be different. Maybe for you is, you know what? I'm going to learn a little bit more about money. I'm going to learn a little bit more about budgeting. I'm going to learn a little bit more about investing. It, it can be whatever you want. And the same thing when it comes to fitness, you don't have to be this jacked bodybuilder looking like Michael Thurston or Chad O'Leon Leon or anybody like that or Simeon Panda. For you, it can just be, I just want to be healthy. As long as I'm healthy, as long as, you know, all the organs are functioning well, that's good. I, I want you guys 
to sometimes you misunderstand thinking that we want you to be these elaborate superheroes. No, it's just about constant improvement. It's just about you understanding yourself and you putting your foot forward every single day. So let's say there was a guy who said he wanted to level up physically and he wanted to improve himself and become more attractive. One of a simple way is you don't got to get cosmetic surgery. We partner with Geology to give you guys award-winning skincare that will be able to help you improve your personal skincare routine. So go to the link in the description below. Use the offer code roommates at checkout to get your Geology subscription. This is a simple and easy way to improve yourself, to level up physically, but you don't have to take extreme drastic means and you guys know geology has results so these are things that i want you to take into consideration ambition is not billions it's not billions of dollars it's not mega fame it's just what are the small things that you can tweak and improve about yourself that can make you the, a better man and the last thing is that hustling does not equal health as i said in, in the first one if you, if you want to live a 1% life, you're going to have to put 1% work. That's the way it is. If you want to be the best rapper alive, yo, you're going to have to be putting many hours in the studio. And at times, you may, in a season, sacrifice your health. But that's not for everybody long term. And I think sometimes people talk about how sleep is bad. Oh, team, no sleep. No, you need to sleep. You need to rest. Peace of mind is so important. That's why we're always talking about mental health and the importance of mental health. And you guys know with our paid sponsors, Better Health Counseling, that is something that we've also told you guys to take advantage of because we want you to be healthier people. But when a lot of you guys were calling me and talking to me about hustling, about putting in the work, about grinding, what I noticed is that too many men were sacrificing their health. Too many men weren't sleeping. Too many men were stressed out. What is the purpose of money? The purpose of money, as my father taught me, is to have the freedom to live your life. Key word, live. You have to be alive to live your life if you are simply hustling 24-7 and you are not taking care of your health. That can be a problem. So I want that to be clear. Yes, if you, you like when I was building this show, I had to put in hours. I had to work 18 hour days to build the show. That's a sacrifice I took for a season. But eventually you have to be able to balance your life up. But if you're a guy who doesn't want to, you know, create a super large platform like me or be a movie star or rapper, working crazy hours may not be good for you. Not having enough sleep may not be good for you. You got to know your limits. And that's another thing. You got to know your limits. Some people can't do 80-hour weeks. They just can't. I was talking to a guy. He had a big lofty dream. He wanted to achieve a main thing. I thought it was beautiful. And he was working 80-hour weeks. But he was getting sick. He was constantly in and out the hospital. And I was like, yo, you can't do 80 hours. You might need to be doing 60 and it might take you 20 years to get to your goals instead of 10, but 80 hours a week is not for you. Some of you guys may not be able to do 65 hours. You got to be aware of what you can and cannot do. I'm not saying that's an excuse to be lazy, but each man must know his limits and not try to compare to other people. At the end of the day, my goal for every man is for him to be happy. I want you to be happy. Comparison is a thief of joy. Happiness for you is not happiness for Hafiz, not happiness for John Mark, it's not happiness for Francis. Happiness for you is what God has placed on your heart. So every man needs to understand what do I need. And then once you understand what you need, then you're going to have to put in whatever caliber of work is required. But remember, hustling doesn't mean happiness ambition doesn't mean billions you don't got to be at the top of the mountain high value does not equal happiness and also you have to take care of your health and understand your limits as you're grinding and putting in the work guys i love you super proud of everybody and i'm super proud of the growth i can't wait to see you guys in five ten years and all the amazing that you've done but we have to understand these three 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 things because i do not want anyone burnt out 
I don't want anyone bitter and I definitely don't want anyone giving up because they misunderstood the message and they misunderstood what they needed in their everyday lives.